This is not unlike the auto industry. The auto industry fought innovation for a generation, and their fuel economy standards just kept getting more and more uncompetitive with the rest of the planet until they reached a, po a point where their product was not selling, uh, and they neared bankruptcy okay, that required a Federal Government intervention in order to ensure that they did not go under. That was not anything that I wanted to vote for. I am one of the few people that can say that I voted twice to bail out Chrysler, 1979 and uh, in 2010. And we were offering the same opportunity to the coal industry in the waxman markey bill. We were saying we will provide the funding for the innovation. We will provide the help for the coal industry. We will give you a bridge to make a transition so that you can stay within the competitive framework of new energy sources within the country. And the coal industry, in the same way that the auto industry did, said absolutely no. Now, where is the auto industry today? Well, they have come through their mess, and now they are embracing the goal of 54.5 miles per gallon by the year 2026. And they are advertising every 20 minutes on every television show about their new, more fuel efficient and safer vehicles that they are selling. Huh? But the coal industry said no. Let us just keep getting at this. Peabody Coal said no. And in the same way the auto industry did its disservice to its workers, Peabody Coal has done a disservice to its workers. Same disservice pretending that they could not innovate, that they could not improve, that they could not make themselves more competitive. So trying to blame some outside source, whether it be the auto industry or the coal industry, is just to defy an analysis of the reality of the marketplace. The auto industry was losing to international competitors because they were no longer meeting the goals of what the consumer expected. And the coal industry clearly in the last five years, down to only 17 percent of new electrical generation, wind is at 39 percent new, and new gas is at 44 percent. This trend is inexorable, and the, and the coal industry is suffering inevitably because of the bad decisions of the coal industry executives.